What is the worst way to respond to drama or hate? Well, what I've learned when I was younger is never fight fire with fire. Well, what uh, KSI learned was, hey, fight fire with fire because, hey, maybe you make a big ass party. Yeah, so KSI replied to the newest thing, like drama he's been in recently. I made a video about this last week. You might have watched, you might have not. I don't know. If you don't know what's happening over in the entertainment slash YouTube slash FIFA slash Sidemen slash football space, yeah, KSI. KSI is under a lot of pressure slash heat right now. That's because he responded recently in a video where he uh, titled it, Everybody hate us, hates us right now. And it's him responding to the drama surrounding him launching the new product called Lunchly. Yeah, he doesn't really give a fuck. <laughs> he doesn't really give a fuck. In the video, he talks about how people are hating on them just because they're KSI or Logan Paul or Mr. Beast, which makes sense since all those three people have been in huge controversies in the last year. Year. I mean, Logan Paul with CryptoZoo, Mr. Beast with the whole dog pack situation, and KSI with his own product, Prime, being in a lot of heat right now. So, yes, people are gonna hate you. Oh, wait, uh, sorry, KSI also did Cryptos games. But we're gonna be watching this video. I'm gonna be pausing every time I wanna say something about the video because, you know, there's a lot happening on the video. And yeah. Lunchly, ladies and gentlemen, me, Mr. Beast, and Logan Paul have launched Lunchly. Uh, if you've had Lunchables, this is mainly for my american audience if you had lunchables uh yeah i guess they were good at the time just tastes way better than lunchables plus now the thing with him advertising it tastes better i talked about this in my last video it maybe does maybe it does but it's still a lunchable and uh yo you got you got oh you got prime i mean this already looks artificial look at this artificial drink i'm drinking right now like but you still got unhealthy shit in it <laughs> oh it tastes better Still unhealthy. But I gotta admit, Jimmy's new formula when it comes to chocolate is very good. <laughs> I think I had the cookies and cream. Oh, the glaze! <laughs> The glaze. I understand that he's got a glaze him because it's fucking business partner, but we know behind closed doors this man does not fucking eat feastables. Oh my god. So good. I oh my god it's so good in the first minute it's just him glazing mr beast and his newest product because money 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 you mess with dan and tdm you mess with the youtube for me that's cringe <laughs> Guys, I love how people who are cringe themselves, KSI, or uh, should I say, uh, Prime SI, is equally cringe in this video. I would say even more cringe for how he's acting in the video. Obviously released Launchly, and Dan TDM replied. This is what he had to say. What happened to YouTubers, man? <laughs> I cannot say anything anymore. This is selling stuff for the sake of making money i'm gonna kill myself and he called jack septic guy cringe literally the next post he looks at he does that i cannot say anything anymore i don't fuck <laughs> Can you be this clueless? The only time KSI I fuck with, like the only KSI I fuck with, was Prime KSI in 2013 to 2016. That was Prime KSI, and then 2017, he just fell off fully. I think this is as much torture as the Hawk Tua podcast. No, never mind. It's not as bad. It's not as talk to. It's not as bad as Talk Tua. Guys, if you didn't know, this week was gonna be Talk Tua, but then it became hey shitting on KSI. For those of you that don't know, I actually came off Twitter uh, a while ago because. I think my feed was just fucked. But yeah, I was just seeing some crazy weird stuff to the point where, I don't know, it was messing with my psyche, messing with my aura. And so why do you go back to it? POV, I go off an app because it's messing with my mental health and uh, it just it's just negative all the time. And then when I release a product that people don't like, I wonder if the people on the app that were already fucking fucking my mental up is gonna like it. Reply to this, so, so this is what I said. Looks like crap to me. He literally no that's the thing though that's the thing he made video he made toys with tube heroes he's made toys with youtube so the so, so the two things that he's like making fun of he's literally worked with am i fucking tripping right now am i off a perky right now am i guys i want to announce that i'm geeking guys fun fact if you didn't know this the guy who runs youtube's now used to run sidemen so he was working with the same guy who made youtube's friendly fire it's literally just friendly fire. It's like an Arsenal player making fun of another player because they played for Arsenal at some point. It's friendly fire. <laughs> 
How does this benefit your fans, Dad? Dude, at least the toy doesn't give the kid, like, weird amounts of potassium in their system. Or sodium. Or sugar. Lunchly. It's a lunch replacer for kids. Kids need more nourishment than that shit. Than a Feastables bar, a few nachos, and a fucking Prime bottle. Contain around 625 calories. Kids need energy to function, and calories give them that energy. Lunchly turkey contains only 230 calories, which would mean a kid would need to eat about 2.7 portions to consume enough calories. How did we get to that point where we think, oh yeah, that's that's fucking healthy for kids? I don't know what boardroom green like green lighted this, but they gotta get fired for like endangerment of children. I'm not even joking. Obviously, people didn't realize that I was shining a mirror in his face. Suck my. You can't just you can't just be hypocritical and then say you're shining a mirror. Uh, wait, you did the same as Dan. You made uh, toys with tube heroes. And yes, that's fair. But I'm not the one complaining. <laughs> not only did you make toys with tube heroes, you also made toys with YouTubes, where the owner of YouTubes, the guy, the guy who runs YouTubes right now, was your ex-boss. So you had close connections to YouTubes, so you knew what was happening around at YouTubes. So you know how it is with the kids market and selling shit to kids. So you acting like you're shining a fucking mirror on Dan TDM. Like, how could you even be this delusional? And yes, that's fair, but I'm not the one complaining. <laughs> You're going on a platform that you left on your own will to come back to it and just read everybody ripping on you because you made a bad decision and you don't want to accept that because your ego is so high. Oh, well, I'm not the one complaining though. You're the one who's selling the product. He was sponsored, then promoted, and made a whole video on Munchpack, a monthly sub box full of food and candy to his Minecraft audience full of kids. POV, I post a random sponsored video on a third channel that is not like gonna be viewed by every single subscriber that I have and I'm, it was years ago a really long time ago when like loot boxes where I'm sure that he did the same I'm sure KSI probably did the same with loot boxes I mean if we go back to your history I think you've done worse shit than selling lunch boxes crypto scams uh just scamming your audience in general I, I think Dan TDM is still the good guy in this I just gotta be honest you can't act like you're better than him this was his third channel and uh you're literally the third like you're, you're the front guy for Lunchly you're on the thing you're on on the advertisements. Hey, sister. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I, I blacked out for the. Not blacked out, uh, zoomed out for a second. He shows this. I'm gonna blow this out. It's This is the N-word. He's showing the N-word and shit. How far did you have to dig down to find a tweet with five, like, five likes and two comments just so you could have one, like, argument point? But that's not what the video is about. This video is about you being bad and making bad products. Brother is just being racist. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to the lunchly shit. <laughs> Their beloved Dan was also exactly what he claimed that we were. A scammer? Sweets. There's countless of videos of him eating sweets, promoting sweets to his audience. But Dude, oh my god. The first minute of the video, you were literally dick riding Feastables and Lunchly. And ours just tastes way better than Lunchables. I gotta admit, Jimmy's new formula when it comes to chocolate is very good. <laughs> I think I had the cookies and cream. Oh my God, <laughs> so good. You were literally doing the same shit as Dan and then seeing Dan is bad. Where was the same energy when Ryan Trahan really sweet? Hey Siri, did they find PFAs in Ryan Trahan's Joy Rod candy? I'm just saying no. I'm not throwing them under the bus because I tried both of their sweets and it's fantastic. It's actually one of the best lights. Why does he dick ride everybody? That's crazy. He's literally just acting like a child. They did it, why can I not do it? On Twitter, you know why? I've realized why. It's because people just hate us. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> well, I wonder why. Oh my God, guys! I everybody hates us. I, I know, right? Everybody hates us. I wonder why. People. people just hate us. People hate Logan Paul. Crypto zoo, crypto coin, crypto everything. Literally, like Coffeezilla can literally just point you to the direction of why people hate and hate Logan Paul. They hate. Mr. Beast. Just watch any dog pack video so far. And they hate me. Because you associate with people like that. And you're building businesses with people like that. Alright, and now I think for the rest of the thing, he just looks through memes and doesn't really respond to any of the th things. He just, like, for all the other things, he just cry. Does he have tears in it? Oh my god, dude. It's not that serious. God damn, alright. It's like, 
It's all memes. There's a, a five minute video of him responding turned into a 19 minute of him reacting to memes. Guys, if I ever got into a controversy and I made a video, I'd be like, yeah, I'm sorry that I released my own candy. Why did that guy do it? And that's all right, but me do it and it's bad. Okay, guys, we're going to go on the probably Christian Reddit. Uh -huh. <laughs> he's, he's just reacting to memes for the rest of the thing. Yeah, no, so KSI just responded in the worst way possible. Just being weird and calling other people cringe while being cringe. I've been babbling too long. See ya.